Okay, today we're doing cluster stitches, my version, in slow motion. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook into your work, yarn over and pull up a, a loop. Then yarn over, pull through just the first two loops on the hook. I'll explain my version here in a little bit. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through just the first two loops on the hook. That leaves you three stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. This will be the final pass. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through just the first two. You have four loops left. Yarn over, pull through all four. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. And then my version is lock it in place with an extra chain. You don't have to do that. Lots of people do not, but I happen to like the look. So, and this would make a wonderful border. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. Insert your hook and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That leaves you four loops. Yarn over, pull through all four, and then you choose whether you want to lock it in like this or not. You don't have to do that. But that is a lovely set of cluster stitches. They'd make a fantastic border. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Thank you all for being with me. Have a great day. See you on the next one.